Hi you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time then welcome to our channel. I would absolutely love it if you would join the Eat Move Rest fam by hitting that subscribe button and make sure that bell is clicked to turn on your notifications so you'll get alerted whenever we put out new content on our channel. So today we are shifting gears a little bit away from the food focus and fitness focus and diving into some mindfulness and meditation. So this is, to be honest, something I myself don't practice as often as I probably should, but as a busy mama with two little kiddos, time can tend to slip away. But rest is often the most overlooked of the three, eat, move, and rest. But these are the three things that we all do every day, but we could all be doing better rest, I think, most importantly. So we're gonna look at some different variations of mindfulness and meditation. A question that often pops up on our channel is, how do you meditate as Christians? And I don't really see meditation and my spiritual faith practice as butting up against each other as much as I do seeing them coming together. A lot of times in meditation, I will be practicing my prayer and spirituality and worship. This meditation practice that I'll be sharing with you guys today is very beginner friendly and all are welcome. No matter what your faith walk or spirituality preference is, this meditation is for you. Before we jump right into it, there are several different ways that I have found beneficial to practice meditation and mindfulness. Number one is breath work or tapping into the breath via different breathing patterns. I used a lot of this during pregnancy and childbirth and even postpartum. So we will be practicing a couple of those during today's video. A lot of breath work can be used to either excite and energize your body or do the opposite and slow and calm you down and restore your body. Number two is body work or tapping into the bodily senses, the five senses and or doing full body scans to check in with any pain points or areas that feel exceptionally calm, cool, and collected. Number three is visualization. So this is a really, really big one. You can go back to the past or to the future. Maybe you envision a past travel adventure that you really enjoyed and studies actually show that when you do this type of visualization, your body receives the same benefit from actually being there. So if you were on a mountaintop and you really enjoyed the experience, take yourself on vacation every day with a simple visualization practice. Athletes also use this method a lot to visualize their victories or successes, or if you have a goal that you would like to achieve, visualization can be really, really helpful for you. I also like to sometimes just visualize a very calming, peaceful place, like on top of a hilltop with all of my animal friends surrounding me. Seriously, you guys, I love visualization. Another type is memorization. So this could be where specific prayers come into play or perhaps different quotations, Bible verses or mantras or even just a singular word or sound. If you repeat these, then it can kind of help to clear your mind and at the same time calm your body. A fifth very, very simple and quick way to practice mindfulness and meditation is to just simply offer up gratitude. This is a great practice to also incorporate journaling into. So I actually have a five minute journal and I really love it. I can link it below. So basically you journal three things that you're grateful for every single day. And it's a great way to also set goals and reflect at the end of the day what you are most grateful for. This is also a great way to practice thought replacement during your meditation practice. So you can replace negative thoughts and negative words, not just during meditation, but throughout your day when a negative thought comes into your mind, instead you can replace it with a positive, grateful thought. Last and finally, this is more of an external practice and I just call it getting out. So it could be a moving meditation where you're running or riding or doing any type of rhythmic movement, like even dancing and yoga, where you're almost in this flow state and it helps your mind to kind of work through any sticking points and helps to get the wheels turning. I always say, if you're feeling stuck mentally, then moving your body physically can help the wheels to turn mentally as well. All of that being said, we're gonna dive right into this meditation. We're gonna incorporate about three of these types of practice. So if you guys wanna see more meditations like this, if you find it helpful, be sure to share with a friend. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Today's practice is primarily going to utilize breath work, body work, and visualization. 
So let's jump right into it. All right, I would first like you to take a seat or lie down, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Go ahead and settle in and ease in. Move your sit bones if you need to. Roll your shoulder blades back. And when you're feeling good and comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. The first thing we're going to do is a little bit of body work. We're going to tap into our five senses. Being that our eyes are now closed, we have eliminated vision as a sense. However, I would still like you to observe and notice if it's light or dark. Sometimes we can also see shapes or patterns. Just notice either any type of visualization or the absence of. Notice if there are any smells or scents, or perhaps again, the absence of any smells or scents by taking a few deep inhales through the nostrils. Taste. We often don't pay attention to taste when we're not eating, but a lot of times there is a lingering taste. Notice if there's any taste on your tongue. Maybe notice if there is an excess of saliva or perhaps you're a little bit parched. Sound. Being that the vision is eliminated, sound can oftentimes become accentuated or elevated. I'd first like you to notice and go inward. Notice maybe if you're hearing the sound of your own breath or the beat of your own heart. Externally, noticing if there's air conditioning or heating running, some type of creak or crack that you might notice. If you are indoors, as I am, now let's notice if there are any sounds we can hear outdoors. Perhaps birds are chirping, kids playing, vehicles whizzing by, trucks, airplanes. Take a moment to notice any sounds. And last but not least, our sense of touch. Go ahead and open up the palms of your hands. Curl your fingers, wiggle your fingers. Feel the palms of your hands with your fingertips. Notice if they're dry or clammy or moist. We're going to place our hands on our laps. You can place palms facing up or facing down on your knees if you're seated. If you're lying down, just placing your hands beside your body, palms up or down. Let's go ahead and make sure the spine is nice and straight and roll the shoulder blades back and down. Now we're going to check in and do a full body scan starting at the tips of our toes. Just like our fingertips, let's wiggle our toes slowly. Now you can stop wiggling your toes, scanning from your big toe of your right foot through all five toes to your right pinky toe. Same thing on your left foot, left toe all the way to your left pinky toe. Now if you can visualize scanning your way through both feet to your heels, 
through the arches to your heels, up to your ankles, scanning up a little bit further to the calves, to the knees and kneecaps, noticing along the way any pain points or any areas that feel exceptionally calm and comfortable, but I don't want you to get hung up on any areas of discomfort. We're just noticing and observing, moving our way from our knees up to our thighs and quads. Moving further to our sit bones and our waist, pelvis, pelvis and waist area. Up to the navel. Noticing the front as well as the back, our lower back area. Moving up to the rib cage. A little bit further up to the heart center. Scanning over to the opposite side of the chest, the other side. And back to center, to the center of the chest. And moving outward to both shoulders, down the biceps, to the elbows, out to the forearms, to the wrists, the palms of the hands, to the pinkies of both hands, moving through all five fingers all the way to the thumbs, and then traveling all the way back up to the shoulders and now to the throat. Moving up to the chin, jawbone, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the tongue, up to the earlobes and the ears, the tip of your nose, up and outward to the eyes, the eye sockets, noticing your temples, moving inward through the brow to the center between your eyes, up to the hair, to the crown of the head, and moving your visualization now above your body, looking down on the crown of your head, noticing your posture, checking in, making sure that that spine is still straight and strong, yet relaxed, and the shoulders are rolled back and down and relaxed. Now that we've tapped in with our body, we're going to start to notice our breath. There are two different breathing patterns that I would like to introduce today, and both of these are geared towards relaxing the mind and body and slowing you down and helping you to feel restored and rested and relaxed. Number one, we're gonna start by inhaling for a count of five and then exhaling for a count of seven. So this simple pattern, you can use whatever number you want to inhale. I just ask that you add two counts to your exhale. So we're going to inhale for five through the nose and then exhale for seven through the mouth. And when you inhale for five through the nose, do your best to practice diaphragmatic breathing. And what that means is rather than holding the breath in the chest, try to hold it in the abdomen, in the stomach. So a full deep breath, your stomach should expand as you inhale, and then as you exhale, 
that breath should travel all the way from the stomach through the chest and out the mouth. So I'd like for you to try this on your own for three rounds of inhaling for five and exhaling for seven. I'll count you through the first one. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go ahead and do it on your own for the last two rounds, counting to yourself in your head. When you've reached your exhale of your last round, I want you to check in with your face, with your facial expressions, any tension that you might be noticing. We can tend to carry tension by squinting, holding our eyes tightly closed, or by clenching our jaws, or frowning. Notice any areas of tension and just release. Our next breathwork pattern is called box breathing. So essentially we'll inhale, hold at the top, exhale, and hold at the bottom, each for the same length. So we're going to inhale for five, hold for five, exhale for five, and hold at the bottom for five. And if it's helpful to you, you can envision a box shape as you're doing this breath pattern. So let's start by inhaling for five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, and go ahead and do it three more times on your own. When you've reached the end of all three box breaths, go ahead and relax the facial muscles again and make sure that the shoulders are still rolled back and relaxed. As we come towards the close of our meditation, I'd like for you to visualize the sunshine. The sun is beaming bright, not a cloud in the sky the bluest sky you can possibly envision. You can feel the warmth of the sun on your face and on the rest of your body. Now envision as if the sun were full of a warm golden liquid. It can be yellow, orange, gold. Maybe it's glittering and sparkling. The sun begins to tip to the side and the smooth liquid begins to pour down on the top of your head. Filling your body, starting at your toes, moving all the way up your legs, feeling the warmth and the fluidity consuming the inside of your body, filling up your arms all the way through your chest, all the way through the top of your head to your crown. You're consumed by light, by warmth, by peace. You have everything you need right in this moment. 
Neither past nor future compares to the existence of this very present moment. Relax your facial muscles and begin to smile. Notice if you feel any changes as you begin to smile. If your lips are closed, smile with your mouth open, with your teeth. Feeling the warmth in your body. You can now close your mouth and rest your face again. Coming back to the fingers and the toes, beginning to wiggle the fingers and toes, rolling out the wrists and the ankles, maybe moving the waist side to side or in a circular motion back and forth. Noticing any smells, tastes, or sounds, or any patterns appearing in your closed vision. Rolling out the head and neck. Coming back to center, finding stillness. Think of one word that comes to mind right now. Make it a positive word that you can carry with you for the rest of your day and perhaps for the rest of your week. Maybe you write it down after this practice and tape it somewhere where you can notice it or jot it down in your phone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this meditation and mindfulness practice. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks again for joining me for this meditation practice. Let me know in the comments how you guys felt about it, how you're feeling afterwards, and be sure to share it with a friend or family member if you feel like it could help them as well. Be sure to check out all of the other content on our channel, and until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.